Hey guys, it's August here, and welcome back to Let's Play Metroid Fusion. In the last episode, we finished up both Ark and Nock, and learned that Sector 3's main bowler is about to collapse, so we have to go over and shut it down. Before the entire station goes up in flames, man. But we have six minutes, that should be plenty of time. Maybe. Guys? <laughs> nah, we should be good. I can get this done in about maybe three, I reckon. But we'll see. The main bowler is actually really far into Pyre, it's right at the end, so it's going to be a long trip, but I think we should be good. Sector 3, Pyre. And everything's up in flames here, there's like lights going off everywhere. Navigation room. Save room is down, okay. And maybe recharge too, I'm not sure. Come on Samus, we can do this, we can get to the main boiler. We can save this place, although it's full of X, so maybe it's good that it's going to go down, but... <laughs> We're here too, so that's not good. But let's go, Samus. So how are you guys going anyway? It is really hot today, so I'm a little bit worried about the recording, because I've had some issues before in the past with, like, temperature of the recordings. Like, a while back, when I was actually doing, um, Advance Wars last year in November. Ironically. <laughs> is it ironic? I don't know. But, um, but back then, a few missions really slowed down for some really weird reason, like that is tanked forever. So I'd take breaks like for like 10 minutes or so between each part and yeah, it was a bit annoying. It was actually when I was doing um, Great Sea Battle 2, <laughs> which is like the last mission in Green Earth and one hell of a mission. I really hate a Great Sea Battle 2. Although funnily enough, when I did this in LP, I completely smashed that level. That's like the best I've ever done it, which I'm very, very, very happy about because that level's pretty annoying. But yeah, I'm kind of worried that's going to happen again, so I may have to, you know, keep my recordings pretty short, like, you know, nothing over 15 minutes, but we'll see. Out of the way, Mr. Purple Guy. No! <laughs> Great, he's like stuck on top of the block. Fantastic. I don't think these guys can die, but you can freeze them to get past. They are really, really annoying. I don't like them at all. Another one here, too. Freeze him, get past. Watch out for that. That's, that's obviously, uh... Yep, a trap. I saw that from a mile away. And I've taken quite a bit of damage, wow. I didn't realize. Must be all the lava I've been like, you know, just sitting in. <laughs> sweet lava bath. Awesome. Not as good as sweet rave parties, but whatever. And here we are, guys, at a boss door. Get out of here. Give me my energy. Awesome, let's go in. And who's the boss? Main boiler control room, and it's a person? A uh, hello? Ow! Well, you can die. Nope, guys, it is a weapon core X. Let's get to this. I believe this is called a wide core X or something like that. Uh, but it's fairly easy, as you can see. Two missiles, three missiles, uh, four missiles. Oh. Well, that was actually really, really quick. <laughs> I guess it kind of sucked. Whatever. But we have the wide beam, beam widest dramatically, awesome! And we did it in 2 minutes and 30 seconds, not bad. Cooling unit operational. So with our new wide beam, our attack as you can see, is a bit wider, it's pretty cool, has a good um, charge attack. And yeah, overall it's a pretty good weapon. Although now we have to go all the way back to the navigation room at the start of Pi, so it's going to be a very, very long trip. But we should be good. So what else have you guys been up to? I've also been, um, over the past couple of days, I've been by myself because my dad's gone away. So I've been spending the entire time watching Cry play The Walking Dead. And that game, like, I've never seen the TV series or played the game before, but that game is awesome. Like, the characters are so well done, although some of them really, really piss me off. <laughs> I suppose that's, you know, I hint that the game's really well done if characters make you feel that annoyed about them. No, maybe. <laughs> But the characters are really well done, like all your decisions make have like a massive effect on the game. It's really, really cool. Makes me want to play it. Maybe even watch the TV series. Like I have no idea if the TV series is even like the games. It probably is, like, you know, maybe same characters or whatever. Or maybe it has like completely different characters, I'm not even sure. That's how much I know about it. Yeah, I am definitely interested in the series though, it looks awesome. And should we upgrade uh here? Yep, missile, not bad. There are a few we can pick up before we leave Pyre. Ah, 
Ah, oh, wait, can you kill these guys after all? Let's see. Oh, you can, cool! Ah! I kind of forgot about that. <laughs> well, whatever, I'm glad I got rid of these damn purple things, although purple is an awesome colour. I was actually talking to the guys the other day about this in the uh, Epic Gamers, and I think purple is probably my favourite colour. <laughs> Even though purple is, you know, often, you know, one of those kind of girly colours out there, but I don't know, it's pretty badass. But a lot of people think that pink is a pretty girly colour. But Kirby's pink, it is pretty badass. <laughs> no, get back here! No damn things, no, don't get in the lava, yes. We're in the room of lava and deaths right now. Because there is something across here we can get? Come on, Samus, get across there. That was really, really close. <laughs> the fireball, or Poraboo, almost hit me. Or flamethrower. It's a Pokemon! Oh, you're going back to my topic of Pokemon from earlier on. I would say that Ark is definitely an ice Pokemon. I don't know if it would be anything else, though. Maybe, like, um... I don't know, maybe normal or something? I'm not too sure. Oh, wait, no, I said Sector 1 would be the normal Pokemon, huh? What could Ark be? Maybe just ice. Are there any, like, ice slash normal Pokemon out there? I don't think so. Those would be, like, really weak to fighting. <laughs> You're, like, a death straight away, man. I do like ice Pokemon. Ice Pokemon are pretty awesome. I would say they're up there my favourite types, definitely my top um, 8. But let's see what Adam has for us today. The X Mimic crew member. It all makes sense now. The X can absorb the memories and knowledge of their prey. What an astounding find. HQ was very impressed. But don't you find it strange? This could have destroyed the entire station with the X in it, not to mention the SAX. Unusual for a self preserving species like the X. Unless. <laughs> Your presence is an even greater threat. A threat to the existence of El X elsewhere. This is only a hypothesis. Perhaps their survival instinct is in conflict with a new borrowed intelligence. Don't let your guard down just yet. The X is still a threat. Samus has sent bio signs on this habitation deck. Survivors? The infected crew member you saw has survived until recently. Maybe there's a chance. The signs emanate from here. Is your objective clear? It sure is. I have just restored power to the main elevator. Use it to return and look for any survivors. So we're finally going back to the main part of the ship after like... A long time. <laughs> after going through every sector once and then going back to sector 3. Wow, I wonder what's happened up there. The SAX probably caused like a massive mess up there. But I suppose we'll have to see. And yeah, sector 6 would probably be like a dark Pokemon, like obviously dark. Maybe something else too, like maybe... I don't know. <laughs> Maybe grass. There's a bit of grass in there too. Oh, but Sector 2 is the grass Pokemon. Damn it! Damn it, Sector 2! You're screwing up everything for me. <laughs> uh, Speed Booster? I thought so. Come on, guys! Sweet Ray Party! Smash! Awesome! Missile Tank Equine. Missile Capacity Increase. Not bad. Thank God for the speed boost, it makes my life much easier. It is such an awesome upgrade. Wait, haven't I been in here yet? Wait, a missile? What the hell? Was this open before? I saw it in the morph ball, like, before I came here. What the hell? I don't even know, man. Hi, Adam. Bye, Adam. Let us head to the navi- um, habitation deck then, see what we can see. It's just up here. Although this area up here is a little bit annoying, and you guys will see why in a second. But it's not too bad. This area is actually a bit like a maze, because as you'll see in a second, when we get past these guys, come on. No, no. Uh, come on. Jump back out, you Mr. Green Guy. Good. Uh, you too. Awesome, that's actually went really, really well. You have to be like a maze and you can go down the holes in the floor, like here, and here, and it's like locked doors everywhere, so... First of all, come down here, then down here, to find a missile. Make sure to pick this up. Well, it may be easy to get when you leave. That might be a good idea. <laughs> I'll remember that for next time. But whatever, come out here, Mr. Green Man. And you, Mr. Purple Man, the most awesomest color of them all. <laughs> what is he? <laughs> Look at his face, what the hell? He's so happy. Ah. 
So next, come over here, then break this down, uh, break this down. It may seem like I'm doing a lot of weird stuff here, but it makes sense in a second, guys. Awesome speed booster to break the rocks over here. Yep. So we're down in the bottom part of this room right now. I told you it was a mess. And we come through the air vents to get to the next area. Get him, Mr. Green, guys. I don't care if you can't see, because you have no eyes. <laughs> I love the faces some of the, the enemies make when they freeze. It is awesome. What does this do? Lock disengage. Gate opening. Oh, there's these guys. I remember them from, um... Super Metroid. Awesome. There's, like, little monkey things that try to teach me to space jump. But no, wall jump, and I failed horribly, and I could not ever do it. <laughs> and I had to cheat up there. And the guy told us a speed boost too. Awesome. I'm glad to see they're safe. There's some sign of life here, I guess. But let's get back to Adam then. Tell him the news, although it's not really good news if there's no people alive, but ah, uh, whatever. I guess it's still pretty cool. Edicoons and Daturas. I've met these intelligence beings before. They seem to recognize me as well. How unusual to meet them again here. In the past, they've helped me unleash abilities I didn't know I had. But where do they run off to? I hope they're safe. Yeah, so do I. Where could they go? The X have infected this entire place, man. It's not good and not good at all. Let's go see Adam then. What has he got for us now? Hey there, Mr. Computer. So the survivors are not human, most unfortunate. We can now confirm the depths of all crew members. I imagine this was the case, but I hoped it wasn't so. I believe the accident infected the humans for knowledge. That form is too weak for battle. I am sure the others were merely food for the X. Now that is not good. Samus, I think they are evolving, growing stronger. Some are now appearing that resist your current weapons. HQ anticipated this and sent Powerbomb data as soon as the hardware team finished it. Ah, yeah. Is your objective clear? Uh, no, not really. <laughs> but I'll say yes. Download it immediately. Our choice of data rooms is limited to the one in Sector 5. Ark. Go now. Alright guys, so I've gone for about 30 minutes so far. So let's go for a little bit longer and see what we can do. Maybe even reach Ark. Maybe even get the power bombs. The power bombs are pretty awesome after all. And they're like a staple in Metroid. Along with the screw attack and all that, and the morph ball. And for those of you who have seen my Super Metroid playthrough, they also make awesome investigation tools. And for those who haven't, I pretty much use power bombs in like every room in the place and like unlocked all the secret stuff because they just destroy everything. <laughs> it's pretty awesome actually. Power bombs are pretty badass. But let's head over Ark. And see if we can pick them up. Heading back into this awesome sector. Sector 5. And do we have to speak with Adam? We do, okay. What have you got for us, man? You've been to this data room before, but I'll show you its location again. Yep, just over there. Is your objective clear? It sure is. Now, move out. And I think I better stop at the recharge too, because I'm running kind of low on health. And how many missiles do I have too? I have 145, not bad at all. And for some reason there are crabs everywhere. Okay then. Oh cool, I can get you too. Die crabs, death to all the crabs. Now, how do I get inside this thing? Uh... Samus? Samus! Blow it up! Oh! Ah, cool! Nice! That's like a time to use the armor. X-ray visor from Super Metroid if I had it. <laughs> that's a pretty tricky hiding place, that's for sure, man. And hell are there, you crazy... demon ghost... thingy back there. I don't know who you are and I don't want to know. Well, I do know what he is, he's like the best boss in the game, but <laughs> that's spoilers. So let's head to the, um, the data room, which should be over here. Yep, and through here, awesome! 
And guys, that's right, it's that easy. Power bomb data downloaded. As a ball, hold R and press B. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching today. Next time we'll see what we can do with our new power bombs. I'll see you guys then.